And I'm Sergeant First Class Carpenter, and we're going to cover rope climbing. So before you even get on a big rope, you can take a piece of cordage like this and practice your body mechanics. So what we found to be the best method is to use the J-hook. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to climb a rope. Uh, the things you got to consider are your points of friction on the rope. So just by squeezing your feet together, you get a little bit of friction. It's about one point of friction. Okay, that's really dependent on how uh, much strength I have in my hip flexors and for repeated rope climbs, it's really not that great. The other uh, not great practice is coming and creating all that points of friction here, but using your calf as the, as the uh, stopping point. You lose control of your rope, this comes down, you got rope burns all up and down your legs. So what we found to be the best practices here um, is to use the J-hook. Uh, like I said, you just take a piece of cordage here and uh, go over your body mechanics. All right, my, my most dominant foot is my right foot, so I'll show you that, that way. You take your dominant foot, slide it up as high as you can get on the rope, all right? From there, take your non-dominant foot, get the excess, pinch it off, lay it over. All right, so now, where before I only had one point of friction, I got a point of friction on the outside of my boot, the inside of my boot, and uh, even on the top where my other foot is clamped onto it. So that's three points of friction. I'm going to have a lot better control. The J-hook also allows me to use my legs to lift so that I can climb the rope as opposed to just going hand over hand. Uh, again, much better for repeated rope climbs. Um, descending the rope, keeping the same configuration, the speed in which you descend is going to be controlled by the negative or the opposite pressure that you're going to put on with this foot. So if I want to lock out, just hold like this. I want to start letting out some slack. Just release that foot a little bit. And that's how you climb a rope.